Now, what are some of the disadvantages of these sanctions imposed on Russia? Number one, sending and receiving money is now difficult. Before the imposition of sanctions, it was easy to send money through Western Union. Though in Russia, there are a lot of platforms through which you can send and receive money. But then, before, before the sanctions, there were other means through which you can send money. But now, it's quite difficult. The only means is to go through all these platforms, and sometimes their rates are not encouraging. Secondly, every form of online payment is now impossible. Apple does not work in Russia again. You can't subscribe to your Apple Music. You can't use Apple Pay. A lot of things are impossible right now, like things relating to buying stuff online, like making purchases, pay for stuff, and all that. They are impossible right now because of all the sanctions on Russia. Right now, I can't even buy anything online. Though AliExpress is working, you can buy stuff from AliExpress. But from Amazon, it's not possible. You can't even like learn online again because you can't make payments online. And it's very, very bad for us as students. Furthermore, social media. Instagram is not working. Facebook is not working. Twitter is not working. And the worst of all, TikTok is not even working at all because they've all been sanctioned. Though with VPN, you can use your Instagram, you can use your Twitter, you can use your Facebook with VPN, but TikTok does not work at all. If you go to TikTok at, in Russia, you would only see old videos and you can't even upload. And you can't even see the, the content of people outside of Russia. So as a content creator, it is difficult to even like create content in Russia. Then making money on YouTube is now impossible as far as say as far as you are a russian youtuber you can't even make money on youtube again because of sanction google have google sanctioned russia so you can't even make money as a content creator as a youtuber now it's quite difficult to travel from russia to certain countries like if i want to go to the u.s if i want to go to uk or some of these countries i can't even like go from russia because of travel bans as a result of the sanctions now russia is carrying out some financial imposition on foreigners you need to have like what we call a green card now this green card i don't even see the need for it because it's more like a way of extorting people and without that green card you'll be deported from russia you'll be asked to leave russia without it if you don't get get the green card you'll be asked to leave russia and this green card is quite expensive and i was told that it's something that you need to renew every year we paid almost 6,000 plus to get the green card. And imagine paying that every year. So these sanctions have actually like affected us as, these sanctions have actually affected us international students greatly. And guys, I really can't wait for the whole sanction things to be over. I just can't wait. I believe soon enough it will be over because it had happened before. And this is the second time the world is sanctioning Russia.